Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 11th, 2020. Well, let's see what we have for today. There's a storm outside. <laughs> it's kicking up. She's been coming for a while. I'm going to blow my, uh, I have a mat outside, but I have furniture on top of it. It's on my balcony here, but it keeps trying to lift and I'm going to chase that thing down. I love it. I just got it at the good target, but <laughs> I love that mat. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> Go out and claim it. All right. But I think it's fine. If you see me dart off like panicking, that's what's going on. All right. So let's get our card. We have, yes, yeah, Selenite Spiritual Awakening. There is a narrative that gets sold to us that Spiritual Awakening is this beautiful, bright thing. It's just sunshine and rainbows and, you know, the heavens open up and sprinkle you with fairy dust. And I, I mean, okay. I mean, if that's where you want to be, honestly, <laughs> that's not always the case. Okay. We need to get a little real here. Our spiritual awakening comes through being human. It comes through working things out, learning those soul level lessons. And sometimes it feels icky and sometimes it gets messy. All right. But again, the hope sells, doesn't it? Hope sells. Now listen, I'm saying if you can find your heart in all of this, always come back to your heart, always come back into your peace. But if you have a moment where you're feeling down and someone's like, oh, well, see, now you're not going to manifest anything good in your life because you're feeling down. That's not fair. It's not okay. It's judgmental. Don't give those people your support. Or if it's a friend that's saying, come on, just snap out of it find new friends. Okay. Now I'm not encouraging people to get into a low space and swim there. Okay. And just live, <laughs> like, don't live in that space, but rather honor it for the moment that it is. All right. It's teaching you the range of human emotions. And that's just as imperative in your spiritual awakening and your spiritual growth as, as being enlightened. Okay. Otherwise, if it was just about enlightenment, you wouldn't need this human body. What are you doing here? Right. It's to grow. So the Selenite says you can choose to do this in a peaceful way, but don't be in denial. Don't, and for some people, they get into absolute delusion about, because they're in such a form of escapism. They, they don't want to, they don't want to be of this world anymore. And so they try to go off and thinking that love isn't for them, or they think that um, success isn't for them. That's a time to stop and question whose standards am I living by? Am I living by what makes me feel good? Or am I allowing myself to be judged and sort of uh, controlled even by other people's opinions about what I should be going after? Does that make sense? So try to find the peace in your heart, but be flexible with how you feel and, and honor that instead of fighting against it. Okay, of course, as always, if you get into a low space and you need some mental help, there's no shame in that. Just make sure that you are very discerning about what kind of therapist or psychiatrists that you get with, okay, because, you know, people slip through the cracks and they end up becoming, <laughs> you know, the person that's supposed to help you. So if you're discerning, if you feel like it's the right kind of help, then go for it. All right. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.